nothing on this deer that's going to stop this 180 grain bullet. All he's got to do is turn just a little bit one way or another. You know, I've shot a lot of deer, but I tell you what, the old heart starts racing. And you know, I go, patience, grasshoppers. Take some deep breath. And all of a sudden, you just you give me a little more cheating on that, where that front shoulder is up through there. I was a little bit worried if he did decide to walk, it was going to be a no no. There it is. There's the shoulder. Okay. There we go. I was going to pick out a state besides Pennsylvania to live into and have that family atmosphere going on, the friends and everything, it would probably be right here, right here in Wisconsin. Outside of his home state, Bob Folkrod has probably made as many memories of outstanding deer and outstanding deer hunts in Wisconsin as anywhere else. Oh, when did this hunt start? Well, approximately 1960, because that's when I shot my first deer, I believe. Uh, I was 12 years old, and my mother had taken me out, and I shot a doe. I've learned a lot since then. I ran a deer camp for many, many years. I've taken all nine species of the, of the whitetail. I've had a chance to hunt around the world, and I guess if anything about hunting has taught me anything, it's not necessarily about that one single animal. It's about friendship. It's about the relationships. It's about the memories you made and the friends you made along the way. One of those good friends is Rick Liebman of Comet Creek. Rick owns most of the 20,000 acres of land he guides on, and that's where Bob will hunt. We met Bob during the Versus Challenge, which I believe is about five years ago. That's the shoot right there. That's the one we've been looking for. Good shot, good shot. Bob was one of the guys that we clicked with. He really took a liking to us, and we took a liking to him, and he's been back ever since. What clicks? Uh, I don't know what clicks sometimes about, you know, making memories and friends, but we laughed and <laughs> joked and fooled. We stayed in contact through the year. Bob's flying in today, and I've been talking to him on the phone. I, you know, I can't wait to see him. We look forward to seeing him every year. We've got four or five different locations set up, you know, multiple bucks on film, trail cam pictures, and what we're doing is we're monitoring each location and whichever, whichever site appears to be the best, most consistent, you know, good size and mature buck is the one we're gonna put them on. Wisconsin hunters share Bob's passion for whitetail and the states produce some of the all-time biggest deer, including the longtime world record, Jordan Buck. Can you see that hill? There's a hill. There's a hill that starts right there. Yeah. And there's just a little neck of swamp here. Yeah. And that back in there, they call the cat dens. It's all a big bedding area. And there's a real heavy trail that comes between here. So the deer are gonna come up out of those, what we call the cat dens, and make their way up on top to those food plots and fields. The first morning, I guess, Rick takes us out and he puts us in the in a spot there. And, and uh, we kind of sat there until, oh, about 10 o'clock, I guess, because he didn't want didn't to come in and bump the deer. We're set up on top of this hill for our first morning hunt. We got deer coming off the food plot a few hundred yards in that direction. They should work through this bottom back into their bedding area. And then we also have pretty heavy hunting pressure off this way. We're hoping that they'll also push some deer back into the same bedding area. This is basically a spot where the deer are going to come from everywhere. We sat there the rest of the day. We had some deer coming in and everything, but uh, we didn't see what we, we really wanted to see. Uh, some does and things like that. The first day of hunting, we had Bob uh, on the north end of one of our properties. We're, in the morning, we like to stay away from what we call our honey holes. We don't want to bump our deer on the way in, so we had him up on one of the hills. and. I think we had him a little bit too close to some of the neighbors there. Somebody shot right there twice. Real close. We put out a couple trail cam pictures because there was a couple different spots that we we thought we might hunt if we had to. And you know, when we pulled those cards, 
the, what they call the picket fences. He's on both cards. You know, they're gonna come all over from every direction down here, though, but all those pictures I showed you are all taken right here. Based on what we were getting on film over the last couple of days of trail cam pictures, the, the buck that seemed to be most consistent seemed to be that picket fence buck. We put Bob in down by what we call the cat dens. You know, there's an area in there where the big ones are laying on some secluded hills, hoping that we would get him coming out of there opening night. I'm excited about the next day. It looked good, it, you know, it had a big uh, hemlock and uh, cedar swamp down there. You could see back in there, the deer was, felt, I felt pretty comfortable with those deer coming out of there. They jumped back in there again, so I felt pretty comfortable about going in there. I think we're gonna stick with that spot. We're gonna concentrate on that spot, you know, seeing that we do have him on film and, and we actually did see him. You know, I saw him out on the fringes, uh, glassed him during the daytime so we knew he was there, ended up back in where we wanted him to be. What I was encouraged about is I knew people would get up and start walking. They'd be leaving, they're, they're going back to their camps and things like that, which was going to get the deer up and moving again. There's nothing on this deer that's going to stop this 180 grain bullet. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. By Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. And by Swarovski Optic. For Bob Folkrod, a lifetime of whitetail hunting experience has taught him that the key to taking a trophy buck is patience, patience, and more patience. Well, a lot of people, you know, they get their method of hunting. They rattle and they grunt and they do this. I'm a sitter. I, I count on other people making mistakes or just letting the deer come into their natural habitat. Bob got in there and, and sat the entire day. We knew he was still there and figured we better stick with him. At around 11.30, 12 o'clock, we had some more deer come in. And all of a sudden, and you just you had that, that feeling something's going to happen. If something does happen, Bob wants to have a rifle he knows is properly sighted in. It's the first year where I'm hunting for rifles, so it uh, kind of changes rules a little bit. We've been hunting with a shotgun. This is new this year, isn't it? A rifle instead of a shotgun. To match up with his Winchester rifle, Bob's shooting Winchester Power Max bonded bullets, featuring a protected notched hollow point, contoured copper alloy jacket, and a specially welded lead core for high weight retention. The PowerMax bonded provides controlled expansion and deep penetration for knockdown performance. There you go. I thought that's where it was. Well, she's she's dead on right where she's supposed to be. Well, I cleaned her at at, the, at home, so I pushed the oil out of her, and, and you know, which went a little high. Not really. I mean, it. Uh, but the second one's on, on the money, so I don't think we're going to be shooting a long distance anyway, are we? Probably less than 100 yards. Yeah. You never know, but at least, we, at least we got back up. And I'd be lying to you if I tell you I wasn't excited. Wisconsin has one more attraction for Folk Rod, the chance to visit some of his deer trophies that friend and fellow hunter Paul Keller is hanging on his walls for Bob. Hey, Bob. Good to see you. For two seasons before this, Bob hunted with Paul Keller. And last year, using a shotgun, Bob took his all-time best buck, one that scored a whopping 170 inches. As big as you remember? Oh, yeah. No <laughs> shrinkage. No shrinkage there. He didn't have any ground shrinkage at all. Yeah. Where's your buck? Look at that. What a pair of bucks. All of a sudden, we're back in the storytelling mode. The deer was kind of in the field and an hour went by and some of the deer were leaving and we seen some more and all of a sudden we got a flash of a, a real nice buck and I'm telling myself just calm down. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> you talk about something putting a smack on you. That's a big buck right there. That's a nice buck. That's incredible. We made some memories that day. You went to your memories. You got your memories. Pay attention to what Wisconsin is doing. 
because I'm going to tell you it's all about family traditions and obviously nice bucks, but just about family and friends. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. When I first got into archery, there wasn't a whole lot of people to ask around the area. They always said broadside was the best shot. Well, when I started running a deer camp, a bear camp, and caribou camp, I realized broadside isn't the best shot. Let me show you why. Especially for you guys that are shooting 3D every single weekend, you are actually programming your mind to shoot behind this leg. Well, if I was to put an arrow right straight through there, Bingo, if he's broadside, I got a dead deer. But what happens if he's quartered away? What happens is, is the arrow rides between the shoulder blade and the inside, and it comes out through his brisket, leaves you a fantastic blood trail, but no dead deer. You're gonna have to aim at this opposite leg, right here. Don't even look at this side. To come up here and hit this leg on the other side, I gotta hit him right there. Okay, let me show you. You're aiming at that leg. This is where you got to hit him. Now, what did I just do? Went through the gut, the liver, the lung, that deer. When I got into the gun world and doing shows, I've heard a lot of controversy about taking quartered at you shots, just like this here, quartered at you, quartered at you. But I'm not shooting an arrow anymore. I'm shooting the best ammo in the world that's capable of breaking everything down that this deer's got onto him. If you shoot him here, okay, you're gonna go through, you're gonna catch your lung and stuff like that, but if you're gonna really try to break him down, hit him right there on that knuckle right there. Always remember what you're using. It dictates where the angle is. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Here's a great feature right here. The new outdoorsman's got a place for your two shotguns. You can put fishing poles into it, everything. I've got my saws, clippers. This acts as a case. So if you're going someplace, you can put your shotgun or rifle in here and it acts as a case. I got a, a stove. <laughs> I got a little thermos. But one thing I really like about it, you can close it down and you can lock it up. And this is my truck, the red truck. The outdoorsman. Okay, here we go. There were so many trees in there, I was a little bit worried if he did decide to walk. It was gonna be a no-no. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. By Hunter Specialties, the stuff of legends. By Swarovski Optic. And by Redhead. Finest in the field since 1856. Bob Folkrod's wait and see strategy may be about to pay off. As he watches from his ground blind, does begin to filter through the trees, picking up food. Can a big buck be far behind? We're sitting there at three o'clock. We had some big old mature does and they were feeding through and they left and there was nothing between three and four o'clock. And all of a sudden, at four o'clock, I looked up and I back in that cedar swamp and I could see a buck coming. I threw the glasses up. That's the picket fence. And boy, I mean, you know, I've shot a lot of deer, but I tell you what, the old heart starts to race. And, and, and when you start getting short of breath and you feel that heart, that's like a warning sign going off. What's your job? What's your, and I go, patience, grasshopper. Take some deep breath. Your job is to kill this animal as quick and humane as possible. I got the best rifle that Winchester, the Model 70, which I love. I got the best ammo. And what does this deer do? He comes up through and he circles. Is he gonna come in? He's, he's a big buck being cautious. and finally comes up in through there and he starts to feed.
and he's like quartered at us and and we was waiting and waiting and he's still quartered right i mean just almost straight at us he starts to walk we got too many trees in the way all he's got to do is turn just a little bit one way or another right there so we waited and waited and finally the other buck was going away and i seen him turn and i go there were so many trees in there, I was a little bit worried if he did decide to walk, it was gonna be a no-no. And all of a sudden, he just he gave me a little more cheating on that, where that front shoulder is up through there. And now, that's a poor archery shot, I guarantee it. Yeah, I wouldn't take that archery shot in a heartbeat. But there's nothing on this deer that's gonna stop this 180 grain bullet. There it is, there's the shoulder, okay, there we go. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Hunter Specialties, the stuff of legends. And by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. There's nothing on this deer that's gonna stop this 180 grain bullet. And boy, I mean, you know, I've shot a lot of deer, but I tell you what, the old heart starts to racing. And, and, and when you start getting short of breath and you feel that heart, that's like a warning sign going off. I got the best rifle, the, the Winchester, the Model 70, which I love. I got the best ammo. And what does this deer do? He comes up through and he circles. Is he going to come in? All he's got to do is turn just a little bit one way or another. There were so many trees in there, I was a little bit worried if he did decide to walk. It was going to be a no-no, and all of a sudden he just he gave me a little more cheating on that where that front shoulder is up through there. There it is. There's the shoulder. Okay. There we go. He's down, he's down. All right. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a long day. That's a nice buck. Let's go take a look at this boy. Okay, here's a little tip. I loaded the gun inside the blind. I'm gonna load it back up, because I'm gonna walk back up onto him. Make sure he's down. Turn your scope all the way down so if he jumps up and starts to run, we can get onto him. He's down, big guy. Look at that rack. Look at that. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Right, Thirty, fourteen points. They called him the picket fence just because he's got so many points coming down through there. That is a fantastic buck right there. Here comes that buck going through, and now it's all of a sudden, again for me, I say patience grasshopper. I know it wasn't over 100 yards, and I knew I could make the shot. I'm just waiting for the right angle. And he was at a bad angle for the archery shot, but not for 180 grain. No, and not, not with that Winchester ammo, that Model 70. All I knew I had to do was wait for that shoulder to come up through there. All of a sudden, here comes the shot. And I squeezed it, and man, I mean, wow! And you can just see the ripple going through him. I mean, and he just jumped and he went down. And, and it was pretty exciting. Well, when you put the combination like the Model 70 Winchester and the Winchester ammo, that buck didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin's been good to me. Not only is the deer hunting good, the people are fantastic. I, I, I come up here, I just have a blast. That's a beautiful deer. I guess if I was going to move any place besides Pennsylvania, it'd probably be Wisconsin. But I don't know. I like Pennsylvania pretty good, but I sure do like the people in Wisconsin. Nice. <laughs> Put in the vice. Good job. Nice. Nice. 
It was a fantastic week in Wisconsin, and that's what it's about. It's about just having fun and laughing and joking and telling stories. It's not about the size of that deer. It's about the memories you made and the friends you made along the way. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products. Launch the award-winning ballistics calculator. Customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo. Download the app for your iPhone and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. Wisconsin's got a rule that you can't, unless you're at a regular designated rifle range, you can't sight in the day before, so we just got off the airplane. Of course, you never know how the luggage handlers throw your gun around, so it's always, I mean, you hear me say it every time, try it out, make sure you know where the gun's on, and, and that's called ethics. It, it changes the rules a little bit with the rifle this year, though. Yeah. We couldn't move the blind back further. I think, I think also marginal shots. Yeah. You aren't going to get away. And now to, tonight we're going to go down and visit all my friends that I've made through the years. And, uh, and then Friday, the day before season, we just kind of chill out. 